Welcome to Intertech's Plymouth, Michigan laboratory. The primary focus here is automotive testing, and it's one of many labs in the transportation technologies business vertical for Intertech. Come with me while we take a lab tour. Now we're here in the small battery testing lab in Plymouth, where we do a lot of the testing on batteries that are uh, from coin cell sized all the way up to maybe, say, the size of a golf cart battery. The important thing to remember is that we can do testing to assess the performance of that battery in the different types of loads that it may see from different devices. For example, a battery may behave or perform differently when tested in an electric to toothbrush versus, say, a remote control because the load profiles are different. And all of our channels here in Plymouth allow us to simulate those different load profiles and make sure that the battery is going to last as long in the device that you put it in as you expect it to. Here in the battery safety and testing lab, we do a number of different tests to ensure the safety of batteries and cells. It's important that the cell has the design robustness to withstand some of the potential misuse cases that may exist in the field. And we test for that in these bunkers in a controlled environment so that when it's out in the field and it happens in an uncontrolled environment, you know the battery can withstand those types of use cases. Now we're here in the product safety testing lab in Plymouth where the primary focus is electric vehicle charge station technology. We test and certify charge stations for use in a variety of different countries globally. We're a CB scheme approved lab and that means we're able to help our clients get their product to market in many different locations around the globe. We also interact with standards development committees and the SAE and the Department of Energy to make sure that charge station interoperability requirements are followed. Here in the product safety testing lab, we have a couple pieces of equipment that are set up to simulate an electric vehicle. The reason that that's done is to create the load that the charge station needs to see in its in-use state. What that allows us to do is expose the charge station to a number of different potential fault-creating scenarios, such as overcurrent. Here in the range, splash, and spray test area of the product safety testing lab, we're able to test product to a number of different NEMA and IP ratings tests. What this allows us to do is ensure that the product can withstand water ingression in a number of different environments. We can test everything from a small drizzle all the way up to full submersion on a product. We also have a hoist built into the facility that allows us to lift larger industrial products so that we can spray the enclosure from all angles, including the bottom. Here in the large battery testing lab, the emphasis is all on large format pack level batteries. These are the types of batteries that you would typically find in an electric vehicle or in a large industrial application. We've got 17 different systems from AeroVironment that are capable of testing these large packs. In the performance testing lab, we test devices to the different types of environments they're going to be exposed to when in use. In the case of automotive, that means recreating the vibration and the temperature changes that are going to exist inside of an automobile. What you see behind me are load banks. What they allow us to do is subject the power distribution system to the different loads created by the electrical systems in the car, like the wiper motors, the radio, and any other electric device. Behind me what you see is a large-scale walk-in thermal shock chamber, one of the largest available in the industry. It's got a six-foot by four-foot basket that actually moves from side to side during the test. So we create one environment, maybe it's a very hot and humid environment in one side of the, the chamber, and then on the other side we create a much colder environment, and then we rapidly transition product from one side to the other so that it can experience the thermal shock effect that it's going to see in the field. Capacity is key to getting testing programs executed quickly and efficiently. As you can see by the multiple rolls of thermal shock chambers behind me, we've got multiple sets of equipment capable of running a large test program and parallel pathing the different legs of the program. BSR stands for buzz, squeak, and rattle. What we're doing in this room is we're testing products to ensure that once they're installed in the cockpit of a car, they're not making sounds when they're exposed to different levels of vibration that's created when the car rides across the road. We're able to recreate road load profiles and expose the different components that are going to go inside the car to those profiles and record the amount of sound that they make. In the fixturing and fabrication area, we're able to develop fixtures to hold different components and parts in the same position they're going to be in in the field. 
This is of primary importance for the automotive industry where different components and parts rest in the vehicle in different orientations. Vibration testing is of key importance to many different industries. You can see behind me the vast array of capacity and capability that we have. It's important to expose products to the same stress sources they're going to see in the field, and our systems allow us to do that. <laughs> 